The Feminist Pedagogy. Tistel, 1993, uses feminist theory to critique present theories of adult learning because Tistel believed that research in women and other groups may lead to the development of new adult learning theories. Traditionally, the leadership role based on male domination within an organization. Traditional scenarios regarding leadership roles are 1. Even though there are more female than male in an organization, the male is chosen to lead and take on the leadership roles. 2. Men socialize to speak with a more authoritative style than women, which makes them more likely to be chosen for such roles. 3. Women are socialized in support roles to take care of people. The question of how the minority groups should react and what about emancipation? Social transformation leads to the birth of feminist pedagogy. That was what Tisdell focused. Feminist pedagogy concerns the issues of how to teach women effectively so that they gain a sense of ability to effect change in own life. An emphasis on connection and relationship with both the knowledge learned and the facilitator and other learners. The issues of women's engaging sense of personal power, Tistel's main aim is to promote women's emancipation. He suggested two models that are the best for us to understand the problem to feminist pedagogy. One, gender model. It deals directly with women's socialization as natural. The gender model is emancipatory in the personal psychological sense. It is not emancipatory regarding dealing with the power relations of the larger social structure. Women learn best in an environment that emphasizes connected teaching and learning. In this environment, Women begin to recognize their own ability to think independently, critically before coming to their conclusion. According to Tisdell, number two, the liberatory model. The liberatory or emancipatory model of feminist pedagogy deals with the nature of structural power, relations, and interlocking system of oppression based on gender, race, class, age, and so on. The features deal with why it is that women and the minorities are often silenced or absent or that their contributions are overlooked or discounted in the public areas of society, including government, industry, education and the classroom at all education levels. Use the critical theory and neo-Marxist education theory plus feminist explanations, look at the oppression of women, oppression in the classroom, looks at the form of resistance on women, example how teachers and students produce meaning through their resistance and their own cultural experience, so as the feminist pedagogy is to improve women's situation in the society, Tisto suggested you can either use the liberatory model or gender model. As mentioned above, liberatory model is focused on women's social status in power issues. Example in the society or the classroom. Gender model deals with personal empowerment and individual development of the students. Quote by Mayer, 1987, cited by Tisto, 1993, a synthesis of both the liberatory and the gender models may offer new possibilities for teaching and learning. Thank you for participating, watching and listening. Until next time.